wonderful reading from Philippians today, in the old kingdom of, for, of Christ, where Paul says, have the, among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, he truly did not regard equality to be grasped, but he humbled himself to become a man. So again, he's, Paul is saying, let's be humble, let's be dependent upon the Lord. Contrary to the first Adam, you know the story of the first Adam in the garden, and God says, only from that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The devil says to Adam, if you eat from a tree, become just like God. Become just like God. So Adam did not just want to be the creature, he wanted to become the creator. So he wanted to become like God in pride and arrogance, and he lost his life in the garden. So here we have the new Adam, Jesus, who wants to become like man, wants to become like us. So Paul says, can you imagine God humbles himself and takes on our human nature? God takes on our human nature. Why? But be obedient to the Father. He's going to come like us because he wants to save us from eternal death. He comes to be our Savior. That's how much God loves us. He left the throne of heaven, humbles himself in humility. He's going to go on that cross, dies out with death, rises to life to restore us back to relationship. So Paul says, be like Jesus. Humble yourself. Be dependent, obedient to God. It's a great teaching for us today. Because we want to learn obedience, dependency upon the Lord. And in fact, the Lord gave many examples of dependency upon him. One example he gave was, I am the vine, you are the branch. What a great teaching. A branch is dependent upon the vine. Imagine just cut off that branch from the vine. The branch says, I want to be by myself. I want to be in control. I want to be who I am. Well, the branch is going to die. Once that branch is connected to the vine, it's going to receive that nourishment. It's going to be fruitful going to be abundant. It's going to have life. It needs dependency upon the vine. Then another example the Lord gives that I am the shepherd, you are my sheep. Now if the sheep are dependent upon the shepherd for all things, for food, for safety, imagine the sheep say, oh, I don't need a shepherd. I'm just going to wander off. I'll take care of myself. Well, now the sheep's in danger. The sheep has walked away from the protection of the shepherd. Once it's in the fold, safe, living, has in life, fruitful. Once it departs from the Lord, it's in the midst of, of the wolves. It's going to lose its life. And simply speaking, talk about dependency upon the Lord. Are you breathing now? You taking in the breath? Scripture says the Lord, when he created us, he breathed the breath of life. We became a living being. Just think at this moment, the Lord is breathing life into us. Talk about being dependent upon the Lord. When I woke up this morning, it's because the Lord gave me life. It wasn't me giving me life, self-life. So what a great teaching about dependency. I'm dependent upon the Lord just for the fact of the breath of life. So we need to learn that dependency upon the Lord. Unfortunately, in the world today, we think we become independent from God. We see the results of that. Look at our society today. Look at the mess we're in. Because God is missing. And we have so much fear, so much anxiety, so much guilt and shame, so much evil taking place. We find barrenness, we find emptiness. Why? Because we think we're self-sufficient. We're the, the, we're the God of our lives. We can decide everything. It's an important teaching that we learn today because in the gospel we find the mass is going to give a, a wedding banquet. People refuse to go. All kinds of excuses. They refuse to go to the banquet. So in the way the Lord says, I invite you to relationship with me. I invite you to be connected to me, be dependent upon me. But many people live in like branches disconnected. Many people live in like sheep wandering away. This is what we're seeing in today's society. Even for this pandemic that we're experiencing, we need to turn to God. We need to turn to God in repentance that we have broken away from him as branches. We have wandered away from him as sheep. We gotta come back. We've got to say, Lord, we repent, and Lord, bring life to our, our society. Bring us, Lord, bring healing to our, to our world today. So it's an important lesson that the Lord gives us. He says, truly, be dependent upon me. Imitate my example. I became man, so you basically could become God if you turn back to me. We want to share in his life and his way of, of life. So may the Lord give us the grace to be the fruitful vines, the faithful sheep, 
we may truthfully be faithful as we continue this journey to the kingdom. God bless you.